Well, hello everyone and welcome to Amazing World Channel. In 2021, the next generation space telescope James Webb will go into space. Once launched, its mission will begin where other space telescopes such as Hubble, Kepler and Spitzer have stopped. As the telescope prepares for takeoff, technicians and engineers check the long list of final tests that it will go through before final assembly for delivery to French Guyana for launch. Performed at the beginning of March, this procedure was to give the command to the internal system of the spacecraft to fully extend and fix the web's 6.5 meter main mirror, which was opened in the same way as after it entered orbit. Webb's test complexity has increased significantly now that the telescope is fully assembled. Special equipment to compensate for gravity was attached to Webb's mirror to simulate the whiteless environment in which its mechanisms will work. Such tests help protect the success of the mission by physically demonstrating that the spacecraft is able to move and turn around as intended. Webb's team will deploy the main mirror of the observatory once again on the ground, just before preparing for delivery to the launch pad. The sensitivity of the telescope, or how much detail it can see, is directly related to the size of the mirror that collects light from the observed objects. A larger surface area collects more light, and Webb's mirror is the largest of its kind ever created by NASA. But in the unfolded state it couldn't fit inside the rocket. Web is collection of moving parts that have been specifically designed to fit into compact formation. This allows it to fit in a 5 meter payload fairing. The deployment of both wings of the telescope is another important millstone showing that Web will correctly deploy in space. The project is the result of international collaboration between 17 countries, led by NASA, with significant contributions from the European and Canadian space agencies. Current plans provide that James Webb will be launched using the Ariane 5 rocket. The life of the telescope will be at least 5 years. The refrigerant reserve is sufficiently for approximately 10 years. During the last revision of the launch date, it was planned that the James Webb Space Telescope would go into space in late March 2021. However, due to unforeseen technical problems and the need to refine the telescope, NASA postponed the launch date of the telescope by about 3-4 months. The coronavirus pandemic has a significant impact on the progress of the project. Now the number of personnel conducting work on the telescope has been reduced and a temporary suspension of the testing is expected in April. We hope for the favorable resolution of the situation and the resumption of the preparation of the telescope for takeoff. The James Webb Space Telescope will solve puzzles in our solar system, look into the distant worlds around other stars and explore the mysterious structures and the origin of our universe and our place in it. Besides, due to its high sensitivity and infrared imaging capabilities, he will also search for potentially inhabited exoplanets and try to characterize their atmosphere. However, studies recently supported by NASA have shown that dense atmosphere planets may also have extensive cloud cover, which may complicate the collection of same important data. For many years, astronomers have used transit photometry to detect exoplanets by tracking distant stars for a drop in brightness. This method has also proved useful in determining the atmospheric composition of some planets. When these bodies pass in front of their stars, light passes through the atmosphere of the planet, the spectra of which are then analyzed to see which chemical elements are present. Until now, this method has been useful in observing massive planets like gas giants and super-Jupiters, which revolve around their suns at great distances. Observing small rocky planets like Earth, which rotate closer to their suns, is beyond the scope of space telescopes. 
Therefore, the astronomical community is looking forward to next generation telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope. By exploring the spectra of lights passing through the atmosphere of a rocky planet, scientists will be able to find control indicators of oxygen, carbon dioxide, methane and other signs associated with life. Webb, NASA's most powerful and sophisticated space telescope to date, is expected to make great strides and we hope it all starts next year. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.